Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatry Secrets Reveal with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode, and in this episode I'm going to try to answer a viewer's question. BD wrote in, on one of my videos a question about whether he should invest in Nikon now or wait for the mirrorless Nikon to come out in the near future. And for that question, it really, of course, is an individual choice, but it certainly would be reasonable to invest in Nikon or Canon now, even though perhaps down the line they're going to shift more and more to their mirrorless market. So why would I say that? Well, because there's such an established history with these two cameras. There are so many cameras out there, and now is the time where you can really get just excellent cameras, especially if you go back a generation or two, for very reasonable prices. I mean, you can buy full frame Canon cameras and, and a full frame Nikon cameras for well under a thousand dollars if you're willing to go a generation or two ago. Or certainly with the crop sensor cameras, many of those are excellent too and you can get those for a song. Plus, there's just so much Nikon and Canon glass out there. And that glass most certainly will be in some way adaptable to a mirrorless system in the future. Maybe in a great way, maybe in not so great of a way, but it will be there will be some sort of a transitionary piece or gadget or something to allow you to use some of that glass, just because that would make complete sense for Nikon, or in the case of Canon, for Canon to do those things, just to promote people to move over to their new systems instead of abandoning the new systems and going with a company like Sony or Fuji or Panasonic or whatever. So um, I think that I think these these cameras still have some life in them. And even if the last DSLR was made today, you know that you're still dealing with an excellent camera that, that in the end is going to take great pictures and is going to have all the functionality that any photographer would need. Now you might not have things that are evolving. You might not have some computer generated something or another that your ca that new cameras will have, but you're certainly going to have great ability to control the basics like ISO and shutter speed and aperture. Um, and you'll be able to do that on a body that was designed to take pictures. So the bottom line is buy what you want. Everything has risks in it and you can't, uh, you can't avoid risk. But I certainly wouldn't wait in the background now for some other camera to come out because you know what will happen is a camera will come out there'll be a delay you'll have to wait longer probably the first iteration of the camera will be buggy so you might not want to buy that so wait for the second or third generation then you're going to maybe think about waiting longer because they won't have a good enough lens lineup or whatever so if you're interested in photography if you want to take pictures now is a great time to invest in uh, use cameras and use lenses and really you're probably going to get some of the best deals overall if you go with a Nikon or a Canon or even a Pentax DSLR or even for that matter one of the Sony um, uh, Alpha original Alpha systems translucent mirror systems which would use they a lot of those would use Minolta lenses so those those are a bargain out there too so so don't be afraid you can always sell it trade it in give it away and move on to the next great thing so hopefully it answers BD's question, and uh, I would really appreciate it if you like this video to give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, of course, give me a thumbs down. If you like my channel, which is very diverse, a lot of different stuff, please subscribe. That would be awesome. I'm trying trying to get, after all these years, past 4,000 subscribers. I know when you have people with millions of subscribers, it doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, it's a big deal. Um, I don't know why it's a big deal, but it is. And uh, I also do an audio podcast on just more current events and psychological topics. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Revealed. Um, I'm on it. I'm a board certified psychiatrist. My wife is on it. She is a PhD level clinical psychologist and we just have a discussion and it's kind of interesting some of the time. So give that a listen uh, again on iTunes. And I also do a personal writing blog called drmikekuna.com, D-R-M-I-K-E-K-U-N-A.com. If you want to know about me and the agony I'm going through as, I, as I'm going through semi-retirement, now I'm trying to figure out what the next big thing is, go, go ahead and read that. Um, or, and... Have a great day. Bye-bye.